It is week number eight of being Pregos. So this week actually went by very, very fast. I didn't vlog much because I was on set doing a super secret shoot for a YouTube original. And normally I don't do shoots like this, like really long production day shoots. They were 12 hour day shoots and it was so exhausting. It was like mentally exhausting because of the type of shoot it was. And then I was just so tired for the whole shoot, um, cause I'm also trying to limit my caffeine intake. I spoke to my OBGYN and I asked her about caffeine um, because I wasn't drinking any caffeine right when I found out. And I asked her about it cause I was just very tired. And she said one cup of coffee is okay a day. Um, so I've been limiting it to that. So during the shoot, I was trying to preserve this one cup of coffee that I could have and um, nobody on the shoot knew except for the producers. I had to tell them because I literally found out the week before um, doing the shoot. <laughs> like first I had COVID and I like missed meetings and stuff that we were supposed to have with the producers. And then I uh, got pregnant. <laughs> so <laughs> they're probably like, oh my gosh, it never ends with this girl. Um, but yeah, so um, no one else new from the shoot and so I couldn't be like I'm tired because I'm pregnant like it was just so hard to like keep it to myself and I was I got really emotional on one of the days it was the last day um it was a five-day shoot and like I just did not want to be there I was mentally and physically exhausted um and stressed out <laughs> and I was just like in the makeup chair uh, looking at my reflection and I just started crying. And the girl who was doing my hair, she was super sweet. She was like, is it the hair? I'm like, no, the hair looks fine. I just, I don't wanna like, I don't want like a lot of people to pay attention to me while I was crying. Cause I feel like the more people that pay attention to me while I'm crying, the more I will cry. So I was just like, no, do, like, do you have eye drops? And yeah, um, it was just a really busy week. As far as pregnancy goes, I have just been very tired. Um, today I already took a nap and I could actually take a nap, thank God. Um, I'm not being on set, uh, but yeah, my energy is just really low and I don't know if it's a combination between being pregnant or uh, also recovering from COVID. So I I really don't know what it's from. It could be either or, and it could be a combination of it, but I just find myself being super tired. My eyes feel very heavy. Like I just want to sleep and I want to be lazy and being around people is exhausting to me. Like uh, I went over for my friends they had a birthday and I haven't told any of my friends yet. So we have to keep it a secret till our appointment uh, coming up in a few days to make sure baby's healthy. So yeah, it's just been kind of exhausting to keep it from my friends and not be able to tell anyone and faking, pretending like I'm drinking because every time I hang out, I'm always drinking, taking shots. And um, I've kind of just like relied on the alcohol to Kind of get me out of my shell a little bit. I'm a pretty shy person. I'm I'm not an, a complete introvert, but um, I don't know. Conversation doesn't really come easy for me, and it's just been really tough hanging out around people. Like I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I want to tell them, but I can't, and I have to be careful of everything everything I say and everything I consume. And um, I just want to tell people already. <laughs> I wanna tell people already so they know that I'm pregnant. <laughs> but yeah, that's the little update for this week. Um, baby, I believe right now is still the size of a wild raspberry. Oh, also a pygmy, um, a pygmy seahorse. Random, but <laughs> it's the size of a pygmy seahorse. I have been watching a lot of videos um, over the weekend, I found a few YouTubers that I really like um, who are like talking about their pregnancies and what items they use and like recommend for first time moms. And 
I started making a list already. Yeah, because I honestly have no idea. I feel like I'm gonna learn everything just from YouTube videos. <laughs> I've been checking this app. I have, it's called a Ovia pregnancy app and it tells you the size of the baby, the due date, and it's really cool. Like it gives you like little updates and stuff and it has me thinking about maternity clothes already, which is like, shit. <laughs> I'm honestly gonna try to take advantage of the Black Friday sales that are gonna be happening soon and try to get myself some maternity clothes um, for those sales. Um, I don't know, maybe even thrift some stuff because I don't know. I literally just got rid of a bunch of clothes from my closet. I'm kind of going through and like cleaning it out. I have a bunch of stuff that I just don't wear. I'll probably put those up on my, um, my Depop or my Poshmark um, if you guys want to see clothes that I'm selling. I always like to resell my clothes, like the good, the good brand stuff because I know, um, some of you out there want to find a, a better better home for them. You'll get better use out of them. And I'd rather them go to you guys than someone random. I'll put that link in the description. Um, I update it from time to time. But yeah, just getting really excited. And um, I've already started planning content. This morning, Red and I were sitting down making a list. And we made a doc uh, with all the types of content that we want to make. Um, oh, we're currently getting our house repainted. It's so bright out there, but we're getting our house painted, which is exciting because we haven't uh, got our house painted since we bought the house. So that's what that noise is. They're like restuccoing. Um, well, yeah, that is this week. I was just working like a mad woman on week eight and, um, I definitely feel a little more emotional. I have a lot of brain fog already and... I'm just very tired. And honestly, I can't really eat specific things anymore. Like red meat. I don't really like red meat anymore. Um, I did luckily get my taste back from having COVID. Um, still don't have my smell 100%, but I think it actually worked in my favor because I haven't got morning sickness. And I know a lot of women get morning sickness and it's triggered by smell. So it's probably a little blessing in disguise that I don't have my smell. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I am eating more smaller portions and I find myself not really wanting like heavy meals. I just want small, light meals like fruits and yogurt and just like refreshing things, if that makes sense. That is week number eight's update, and I will update you guys on week nine and let you know all the progress that we get. So, okay, week eight.